I am disgusted now whenever I see Fox News. Whenever I have turned on the TV or the TV's already been on and I've seen Fox News because, you know, I have family members who watch it, watch that garbage full of lies, Fox News, with um, all that. Fox News is no doubt the most racist network on TV right now, and it has been. Okay, they want to say they're not racist, okay? Why don't you fess up, Blondie Laura Ingraham, and fucking come to reality? You were a fucking racist, alright? We know you live in a gated community, you know? And, and all you people out there, right? The truth is, they like to make you think that the Democrats are the reason behind all the housing hikes, right? And all the... Um, what do you call it? Like, that everything gets expensive under Democrats. Sure, some can. But you know what they don't figure it is? In a lot of this urban development, in suburban areas that cost a lot of money, where coastal elites actually are, there's still a shit ton of conservatives. That's what they don't tell you. There are a lot of conservatives in blue states living in rich neighborhoods. Why do they go along with the fuckery if they can play that, oh, the coastal elite states with the liberals are the only ones with, with money? Well, they, that's the reason why, right? Uh, I'm just sick of the inconsistencies. And if there's one true American patriot right now who's a celebrity that I will shout out... His name is the boss, Bruce Springsteen. I'll have to shout Bruce Springsteen out because he's the only one I see right now who is a true American patriot. All you Trump people who want to move out of here when he loses are the traitors, are the un-Americans. The ones who were never really American in the first fucking place. Oh, hey. Then go. Nobody will miss you. We can rebuild properly then. And get a new country with less hate and bigotry and xenophobia. I, I wish some of you came right up to my face. I fucking backhand you. I'm serious. I'm fucking serious. And I'm an MTF trans person. I get many things and I get issues of my own. I don't need to see more racism and bigotry. Because I know I've been fucking discriminated against my goddamn self. You know? And that's all there is to it. And until anyone experiences that and can feel that pain, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. You see? I was compelled to possibly vote for Donald Trump in 2016, but I'm glad I didn't do it. I registered as a Republican, and I used to, I used to support George W. Bush to eat to some degree like in 2000 I did, but in 04, he seemed to suck so bad that I wanted, I wanted Kerry. I wanted Kerry. But then all things considered, Bush ended up being a better president than Trump. At least he got two terms. Um, Trump isn't even going to get two, it doesn't look like right now. I mean, I could be wrong, but it really looks like the blue is witted right now. And if it doesn't, then we're going to have more job losses. And it's, I'm not saying Biden's going to be all that much better, but he's going to definitely be an improvement. And an improvement leads to another improvement. Then we'll be better than we've been. But we have to stop from fucking scratch. We, we've been set back in the dark ages because of this Trump presidency. It set us back quite a bit. And I really believe Obama got blocked on a lot of things. I mean, in the past, I didn't really believe that so much. So I used to think he was a lame duck president. Well, he, he was, though. He got blocked on a lot of things that he wanted to do. That's just the thing. He got blocked on them. And some of those people turned to the Republicans after that. But they voted for him twice, but then voted for Trump. They're a weird fucking bunch of people. I've never seen such an inconsistent, deplorable group of people as Donald Trump supporters. I've never seen anybody this horrible in my life. 
And they all started coming out of the woodwork when he was getting elected. These people were hiding before. We need to get them back and hiding again or make it so uncomfortable for them that they pack their bags and move to another country at this point. Because I'm not going nowhere. I can't go anywhere. I can't just move if something goes wrong. I can move states, but to move countries is very is going to be very difficult. I can't just move my country. I want to improve the United States. I want to make it to levels where everyone has equality and prosperity and chances for a better tomorrow. Where there's no discrimination on areas to live in. Where you're going to have to just plop your ass there no matter the cost. I don't care how black it is. I don't care how Hispanic it is. I don't care about any of that. Everyone puts so much fucking emphasis on race and it's pissing me the fuck off now. And I used to be somewhat of a racist, too. I'm not going to lie. I had outward views. At least I believed in them when I did, though. But the bottom line is, Trump's an idiot. He's not getting back in. He's going to try to hijack it if he loses, though. I, I really think there's going to be some kind of unrest of some kind. But Proud Boys, all you hate groups like Proud Boys, Patriot, Patriot Prayer, fucking blah, 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 Patriot. Uh, who else? Uh, a lot of the tea party, I guess you, I could say. Uh, pack your bags and stop moving. Because you're not wanted now. Once, once you lose, that's it. You know? That everything can get under control. The pandemic can, can get under control. And everything can open up eventually. Fully. To full capacity. So, all that being said, I wanted to send this political message out there. To whatever followers come to my page, I want to generate some traffic. I'm a very small channel all over here right now. And I want to generate some traffic over here, so help out with anything that you can. Hit the like and hit the bell notification, at least.